Okay, in this tutorial, what I'm going to do is talk to you about using curves and adjusting color correction inside uh, an image using Photoshop. Now, I've got two photographs I took um, of a bride, an Asian bride um, over here. And what I've got is, I've got two different pictures. This one has a different exposure setting, better colors, a bit lighter and brighter, which is okay. I want to focus on this image um, as it's a bit saturated. It's kind of a bit monotone. It hasn't got very nice colors. And we're going to look at this in a bit more detail using curves. Okay, so I'm just going to minimize this. Um, you can try this with your own photographs. You can get one online. This, why, this one is a quite high resolution. It's quite at high res. I'm just going to zoom in a bit and first thing I'm going to do is get rid of some of this stuff unwanted details here and I'm going to do that using the clone tool and for clone tool I think I've shown you this in the past if not I'll show you again um, I'm just going to go to a brush, a soft brush and I, for the clone tool you need to click alt and sample an area that you want cloning so I'm pressing alt on the keyboard and I'm simply going to airbrush that out I'll do that again like so and I'll do that again and Photoshop does a pretty good job of sampling out the colors like so okay there's lots of different things that I can do with this photograph and the things that I would do professionally with this photograph but what I'm going to show you is slightly different in the sense that I'm just going to focus on simple color and um, simple correction using curves it's got some here and I could if I wanted to just quickly do this as well okay like so and I'm just going to do this relatively quickly to show you I'm just oh. like so and I've, you can see it's getting a bit misty there I should you really use a um, a brush which is a bit harder and so we get a relatively clean edge I think that's that'll be fine and to clean that up a bit what I'm going to do is um, use the healing brush which doesn't really need um, you to press alt and sample it does not need any um, resampling um, sometimes it does depending on what texture it is so I'm just going to really quickly do this um, and I forgot that one up there just quick, really quickly do this because I'm going to run out of time. And you can see that I'm going to get rid of that harsh line by um, using the healing that will blend that in like so. So, again, it's okay, it will do. I can't get too close to that because you can see that um, Photoshop is going to blend and merge that color so I'll just quickly do that I've got my hard brush on like so whoa Okay, that's that will do. Right, so um, that's that done. Um, not perfect, but okay. Now, what I want you to focus on is I'm going to go to Image and go to Curves or Control and M. Now, Curves gives you the the ability to actually go in and enhance certain details of an image. What I'm going to do is, if we want to make the background a bit lighter, what we can do is simply drag this over here and we can see the background becoming lighter like so also if I press Control Z edit undo I can click and drag this waveform any to which has control over the general RGB settings so it's quite nice because it's a lot different than adjusting the contrast or the brightness it actually controls the, all, all of the colors RGB inside that color, color um, channel we can also now click again and we can have the ability to make the background lighter or sorry darker or um, lighter so say for example something a bit soft in between like so and I can put that in so she's got a bit more contrast as well okay I'm just gonna make that a bit more lighter 
like so and again we can go into this channel we can do the red channel independently green channel and blue channel independently as well I'm gonna go ahead and select OK that's fine and what I'm also going to do is go to image adjustments and go to brightness and contrast and I'm simply gonna enhance the contrast slightly um, to 18% use legacy is the previous um, algorithm behind Photoshop CS so if you've got Photoshop CS it's automatically use legacy use legacy switches it back to the older um, algorithm the maths behind that compression so if I select that it's going to be a lot more harsher you'll see there you go um, if without use legacy you can bump that up and it's non-destructive okay so I think that's fine and um, that's all I really wanted to show you really is curves so we'll look a bit more I'll open up the same image and we can look at something a lot more interesting we can have a look at the different um, making certain areas black and white and so certain areas color or certain areas out of focus and in focus inside Photoshop.